everybody, thanks for being on the call this morning. A little Brigantine Business Network webinar. Today we're going to talk about web security, how important it is to make sure you, you keep track of your passwords, your usernames, your commenting stuff. You know, what your reputation looks like online is really important. And uh, today, it is Saturday, October 4th, 2014. So let's take a look at some web security issues. Let's just, um, instead of focusing on a business first, let's, uh, why don't we focus on the city of Brigantine Beach. Let's take a look at the official Brigantine Beach Municipal Facebook page. Most people uh, are familiar, we hope, well, not everybody is familiar with it, but bbnj.com is the official city website. But very few people know about the Brigantine Beach Facebook page. And as you can see here, we're looking at a paltry 850 likes and, um, you know, just a, a basic Facebook page. And the last time that it was updated was on September 17th, so over three weeks ago. So this site has been sitting dormant uh, since September 17th, 2014, since uh, today is October 4, 2014. And what I normally do when I check for security issues and to uh, make sure brands and companies and organizations and uh, individuals and municipalities and cities, I, I keep an eye on their security, making sure that they look good online, they're protected online. And I look for things that are, well, we call them security breaches. And if I scroll down here, you will notice there are three comments on this post. So this post was made on September 17, but down here in the comment section, there's some crazy person that posted something. And there was no moderation. Matter of fact, on this city website, the official website of the city of Brigantine with Jennifer Blumenthal as the city manager, you can see that somebody posted a video of this uh, most recent city council meeting. Anna Phillips, 308 27th Street. I discussed the topic of the city of Brigantine's website at the last it or running it. They do. They, and my understanding is they post the content. Isn't, and uh, Chief Reed, correct me. We get the content from us. We get the content from us, sent to them. Now, we wonder if the city would feel comfortable with that up there, but it's certainly up there. No one's checking it. And then um, when was that posted? That looks like it was posted on October 2. So that's been up there for two days. Oh, and then somebody posted something about voting instructions. And if you click here, you go to voting instructions. We come back, and we can see that 22 hours ago, on October 3, at 10.12 a.m., somebody posted something again. And it says, oops, nobody keeping an eye on the city Facebook page. I guess all the attention is being focused on the city's unofficial Facebook page. What does that mean? Well, if we click here, we can see there's another Brigantine Beach Facebook page, and it's much more active. September, September 30 is the last time something was posted, so a few days ago. And as you can see here, it's pretty active with current events like the uh, Halloween Harvest Festival block party. So uh, Mr. Reed, the chief of police, put that up there. And then some uh, Office of Emergency Management, somebody posted something there as well. Then another post for the Brigantine Police Department. Now, we can't really tell who has this site because it says here about. It says that the company that owns this site... Sound Reflection, LLC, and Betsy's Backyard Productions. So the best of my, to the best of my knowledge, Sound Reflections and Betsy's Backyard Productions has a better City of Brigantine Facebook page. So we want to uh, thank Betsy for doing that, because obviously the City of Brigantine's not doing it, even though I think we're paying for somebody. Some CER stuff, Brigantine Police, Brigantine Police, Police, and then some advertising for Atlantic Prime Turf. And uh, this is pretty active, September 23. Lots of uh, promotions and advertising for Atlantic Prime Turf's uh, landscaping in Brigantine. 
some photographs of the beach party at the Laguna, more Brigantine police, Brig Brigantine police, football tailgate party, more advertising. So it looks like all of this stuff is pretty active. So all the Brigantine news and information is active over here in the photographs. You will see all the lifeguards, great photographs of uh, Kip Emick being sworn in. So it looks like um, this person is doing a spectacular job helping the city of Brigantine with social media. And we thank them for that. And uh, once again, this Facebook page is being run by, well, they work at Brigantine Beach, whatever that means. And they used to work at Sound Reflections and Betsy's Backyard Productions, but we can't really tell who this person is. But they live in Brigantine, and they went to Atlantic City High School, we assume, right? Contact information? Not much there. But the most recent post was September 30th. All active stuff, all important stuff. And uh, it was posted by Tim Reed. And if we go back to the official Brigantine Facebook page, the official website of the city of Brigantine, Jennifer Blumenthal, city manager, the last time something was posted was on September 17. A measly 850 likes. I have no administrator rights. I have no official rights to post anything on this page. This page is a big giant sieve. It's just open. You really can post anything on here. A couple days ago, we posted this video. And then a few hours later, posted that, wondering would somebody moderate it. So we could post anything we want. And it gets seen by everybody, but no one's monitoring this. So what do we say? What do you say we post something here? But the point is, the average person should not be allowed to comment or post on this site. This is a city site. No comments necessary. Or at least moderate it. At least moderate it. This is not being moderated. And quite frankly, a city site should not have comments. It should have a message box where you can message in. So why don't we post this and see what happens. Let's see if we get some uh, people to notice. There you go. Now on the city website, I'm going to encourage people to buy the Brigantine bestseller from Patrick Costello, Greenhead Politics, the story Brigantine taxpayers were never told. This, my friends, is called a breach of security. Much like the city has these audits, these financial audits, and they look for stuff that's missing, they look for stuff that doesn't make any sense, a financial audit of the books. Well, this is an example of doing a, a digital audit of the digital assets of the city. As you can see here, just as sloppy as Brigantine for the past 22 years has been with financial accounting and cash management issues.